Dr. Peterson, why are you such a Luddite? Why don't you embrace artificial intelligence and facial recognition to, and massive computer surveillance and cameras on every street corner so that we could all be safer? Well, because there's tremendous danger and too much security. If, if the emerging collusion between government and corporation, gigantic corporation, continues in the manner that it is continuing, there won't be anything that you do that can't be used against you and will be used against you in very short order. And the concerns that are expressed here about the local consequences of that, let's say with regards to January 6th, seem to me to fail to take into account the much broader threat that lurks underneath that everyone should be attending to. We are, we're in danger of eliminating the private sphere entirely. That's already happening in places around the world, particularly in China, which is why I made reference to that. That technology is at hand and it appears as though both giant governments and giant corporations are used, utilizing it in every way that they can manage. And it's generally, it's often motivated by the claim that that's forestalling an immediate proximal threat. Right? Well, that's a short-term justification for engaging in a tremendous long-term danger. And it should be perceived as dangerous to those on the left who are politically committed, because it will be the politically committed who are first identified by such systems. Dr. Jordan Peterson raises apprehensions regarding collusion between government entities and large corporations. At the core lies a democratic principle, accentuating restrained government intervention and safeguarding individual freedom. The significance of personal autonomy and rights within private spheres is underscored. Prioritizing concerns about encroaching upon private realms should center on individual freedom and the capacity to mold one's identity free from incessant scrutiny. Democratic skepticism surfaces concerning excessive surveillance, artificial intelligence, and facial recognition. The worry is rooted in the potential misuse of these technologies, posing threats to individual privacy and civil liberties. Aligning with Dr. Jordan Peterson's broader perspective on the peril of eradicating private domains, the public values, individual authenticity, and the freedom to define oneself beyond the watchful eyes of external entities. The amalgamation of government and corporate surveillance is perceived as a menace to this fundamental freedom. There is a preference for spotlighting long-term risks over short-term justifications for heightened surveillance. The democratic ethos contends that sacrificing privacy for immediate security presents a significant risk, emphasizing prudent governance and the safeguarding of individual rights. Caution is advised regarding systems capable of challenging authority and singling out individuals based on political beliefs. Dr. Jordan Peterson's assertion that politically engaged individuals are the primary targets should underscore the importance of embracing diversity in thought and resisting conformity to political norms.